I've got another popper deck for you all today. This one is straight from Mr. Rancid himself. If you have any comments about this deck, let's brainstorm in the comments below and share with your friends. This deck is all about red and green Eldrazi's and swarming the boards with spawn tokens, then hitting the late game with some big ol' fellas. Our main board starts with four simple nest invaders that enter and create a spawn token. These don't really need much ex explanation, but two bodies for two mana and adding an extra mana on the side, that, that's not so bad. Same goes for Eldrazi Repurposer. It's more or less the same with a power and toughness increase. It can also create a spawn on cast and on death, so we'll have some extra mana the moment you cast it from your hand, plus when it dies it'll do the same. There are four of these suckers. Four copies of Writhing Chrysalis can really do some damage a bit later in the game. When we cast this, we'll make two spawn tokens, which, you know, in and of itself is pretty great, but this gets bigger every time we sacrifice another Eldrazi. If it's targeted by a lightning bolt or something, and we have a spawn out to sacrifice, this will get bigger. It's really cool ability, and it can really be hard to get around sometimes. Drowneyard Lurker and Warped Tusker are basically the same, but in slightly different colors. On cast or cycle, we'll make another spawn token. I could see us going one way or the other with these, and so like we could have two of each or two or sorry, two of two of one or two of the other. I don't know, whatever. But I guess it depends on if you like Reacher Vigilance. I don't know, but the combination of the two just kind of gives you some options, uh, even though there are only one of each of these. To search through the deck a bit, I've also got four copies of Malevolent Rumble. It reveals cards from the top of our library and snags us a permanent from among them while also creating a spawn. Very nice. Similarly, there's Glimpse the Impossible. We'll basically impulse draw three cards to be able to play them this turn. If we don't play them, at the end of turn we'll create Eldrazi spawn tokens for each card we didn't use. And then they get shoved into the graveyard, which is kind of nice. There are four of these. And lastly, for Eldrazi spawns, we'll have four copies of Brood Birthing. If we control a spawn already, we'll make an additional three. If not, we'll just make one instead. These just keep the engine going pretty well. Now that we have all these Eldrazi spawns, what are we going to do with all of them? Well, I'm glad you asked. Three hands of Emrakul come out by sacrificing four spawns. This is a 7-7 with Annihilator 1, which is pretty friggin' nasty and popper, and it can really be, you know, basically free, conserving our mana for other spells later. And lastly, to round out our creatures, we've got four Olamog's Crushers, just a big nasty thing. 8-8 eight, eight, another 2, just kind of a step up from the last one. If this stays out, our opponent is probably screwed. Screwed. Build this up the whole game and it can just be really fun when it drops and then just watch your opponent's face. For some extra things to be able to have some edge, there are four copies of Lightning Bolt, just in case, and then four Utopia Sprawls to help with some Rampage type stuff. As for lands, there are eight snow-covered forests, seven snow-covered mountains, and one snow-covered island, as well as two highland forests and one bountiful landscape. These don't have to be snow-covered, but I believe the original version of the deck ran Scred instead of Lightning Bolt. But hey, it would ultimately be up to you if you build this deck. Moving to the sideboard, there are four copies of Ancient Grudge, which is a really cool Gruul flashback card for that artifact removal. Three end the festivities for small creature sweepers, four pyroblasts for that blue spell and permanent removal, and lastly, four Tormod scripts for the graveyard removal. Okay, that's it. Let me and Mr. Rancid know what you thought of the deck in the comments below. And check out that TCG Player affiliate link below to purchase any of the cards for your version of this deck. And if you're looking for some playmats or proxies for your other games, click that Milkman Proxies affiliate link as well. These both help the channel greatly. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for your weekly dose of magic.